Hey again, Athey from Game Vets. I am going to make a Spirited Away music box today. I think I'll keep talking to a minimum for the beginning and just let the time lapse give you an idea of how this started. exactly what the heck is going on here. So this will end up on top of that. End of this will end up on top of that. So we get that lovely little thing going on here. This, which is the symbol, it's U in Japanese, and it's the symbol that they put on bathhouses, and it's on the side of the bathhouse and spirited away, so I thought it was kind of cool. It goes in the center here and has the convenient bonus covering up that little notch so you don't see it. Now that notch is part of the inside box that obscures the, um, the actual music box mechanism. It's this guy right here. This guy will sit in there and that holds it steady so that while well, this thing is in the bottom. Now and speaking of that, bottom of the box, the inside, see what's going on right here. Now that sits in there, just like that. And this is where the music box will go. This is the other piece that goes right here, back of the box, and you can see its little notch that this goes into. One thing I have come to decide over time is that these little notchy bits, I have come to decide that they don't look very good. I mean, they're, they're fine in a lot of things, but I don't like them as much. <laughs> And I like to cover them up, if I can, and that's what this is doing. Plus, you know, it adds depth and it looks cool. I mean, look at that, it looks cool. So, like I said, polyurethane, let's go. I apply the first two coats of polyurethane before assembly for a couple good reasons. First off, it's much easier to sand the surface smooth when it's all separate panels like they currently are. I can apply a coat of poly, let that set and dry on a flat surface, then I can sand it smooth apply another coat of poly and let that dry on a flat level surface. This avoids the risk of having the poly pool or drip in undesirable ways and gets a very nice smooth surface. Later on after I've glued the box together I'm going to be grinding down the edges so that they're rounded and smoothed and I'll be filling in any gaps that are visible with wood filler and glue. When I do this the glue doesn't stick to the polyurethane but it does adhere to the freshly sanded wood, so I'll be able to wipe away any glue filler that I don't want and sand the rest of the edges smooth. When I'm done with all of that, I'll apply poly to the newly rounded edges, sand that, and then apply another coat of poly to the entire box for its final shiny coat. <laughs> 